So these double masters spoilers are getting more upsetting by the day, but what is mostly upsetting is the fact that Wizards of the Coast, they're not being that very transparent with their news about this the set. I mean, there's a lot of people with pre-orders. There's a lot of people with money into this thing, VIP. A lot of people bought a bunch of booster boxes. There's a lot of resellers. There's a lot of stores that want to know more content, you know, it, information, and we're not getting that much. But today, Wizards of the Coast revealed in a comment dispute with a uh, seller that there is different rarities in the box hopper slot. So... Not like how Un Ultimate Masters, basically all the box stoppers had the same rarity, you know? So if you buy 100 booster boxes, you probably get, and you open them all, you probably get like a fair, a fairly equal amount of box toppers uh, per each set. So if you're a reseller, you can have pre-release sales and you wouldn't be really screwed. You know, you get a pretty even amount to be distributed. But what the code says right here, after the question says, Mike, any idea of the ratio commons, Urza's lands upshifted to box topper versus uncommons, crop rotation versus rares versus mythics? Uh, I need some info to pre sell. With Magic Gathering replied, All borderless show showcase cards with the rare expansion symbol will, will appear twice as frequently as those with a mythic rare expansion symbol. This is true of box toppers in. <laughs> in Double Masters booster boxes as well as the premium foils in the VIP edition. Updating our article now. Oh, okay, so now you're updating your article. So what this basically means is, you know, like Urza's power plant is an uncommon. It's upshifted a rare for this, so it's going to be more seen. It's going to be more common to get that than it would be to get Swords of War and Peace or a rare like Cyclonic Rift. So that's what they're actually saying here. So if you bought a VIP booster pack, the cards you're going to see more often will be like Urza's Power Plants. You'll see Crop Rotations. Maybe you'll see some Rares too in there, uh, like Cyclonic Rift, which is a good card. But you're going to be see like cards like Swords of War and Peace and Jace the Mind Sculptor, Blightsteel Colossus, Mana Crypt. You're going to see those less frequently than the, than the most uncommon and uh, rare cards. So a lot of people are upset by this, understandably. I mean, I ordered a bunch of this product. I, I didn't order that much VIP, but I did order at least four booster boxes and order two VIP booster packs. Not a lot. I'm not a reseller here, but I'm a collector of the game, and I enjoy playing it, so I wanted to open up some product for myself. But now, I have to go through the dilemma of whether or not I want to cancel my pre-orders. Because, honestly, this is such a, a money-grabbing move that Wizards done here by telling people that VIP is going to be well worth the money. So what do they do? Well in advance, they have the Mana Crypt spoiled, Atraxa, they have Blightsteel, and they're getting people just salivating, being like, oh my god, there's going to be so many, what if there's Force of Will? You know, what if there's just the Mind Sculpt, Liliana the Veil, what, what's going to happen here? And so far the spoilers have been a little bit of letdown, and this news is uh, making it more of a letdown. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a little bit sneaky by Wizards of the Coast to pull this last second? Or do you think they just slipped right by them to not mention this in the first place? Or did they just want to get that pre-order money down right away and lock those orders in? But it's going to hurt game stores in the end if people cancel their pre-orders. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.